What's going on, Josh here? I'm going to tie you into a quick um, video here. I'm doing some stuff for myself, so I'm going to let you get some insight on what I'm doing. Um, you can kind of watch the screen. I'm responding. So I've, I, I did a blitz on some of the products that I'm interested in bringing in. Um, what a blitz is, I call it a blitz, is I just go on to Alibaba and I'll do a search on the product I'm looking for and then I'll send out an RFQ and an RFQ um, is called a request for quotes and I get a, a, a blitz or a storm of factories responding to me and quoting me uh, right away on you know basically want to win my business uh, and then from there I'll look at all the, the prices I've got back and then what I'll do is I'll, I'll respond to the ones that I'm interested in. So on this particular occasion, I'm looking at these uh, Vanier, uh, what are they called here? Vanier, let me minimize this. Vanier uh, calipers with, with, with LCD screens. Uh, I'm looking to bring these into my store. They're a good price point. They sell for roughly $35 to $50. So I'm trying to source price. Give me a sec. Let me pause the music. Move myself down here. So I've thrown out RFQs and I've gotten a couple responses back for the Vanier Caliper Digital. I've got a couple responses here. So now I can compare the quotes. And the reason I do that is if I don't want to take the 15 minutes to send my template, I can literally do an RFQ blast. It takes me like a minute to uh, put that out there that I want pricing. And then I can get a quick idea of what the cost is. So when you're doing product research and you're finding all these products, I don't know how many products you've listed so far, including your strikeouts, um, but I'll give you an idea. I have 40 on my queue of products, home, home runs, grand slams, and base hits. I have 40 in my queue. Um, I could literally just pick from them. So now I blast those out RFQs when I'm like looking at, you know, what's the price on this? What's the price on that? And uh, it's a fast way for me to make a decision on a product. I'm working on two products right now. One, I can get the product for 98 cents each. It sells extremely well on Amazon, it sells about 2,000 units on page one. 2,000 to 2,500 unit, units on page one. It's about medium demand and there's low competition. Uh, and on this one, it's a low competition, a high profit range, uh, but not as much demand. I think it's around 1,500. My only question with this is, is it a tool that contractors use or is it seasonal as in a tool that schools use? I have no clue what this thing is at all. So I got to do research on that. But I'm happy to find out that they're only $10 each. Uh, to me, that's really good. So I'm res going to respond to these two people. Uh, they're kind of really custom responses. Hi, Carmen. Thanks for the RFQ response. And quote, I'm looking to bring these into my Amazon store in Canada. I'm sourcing a factory to work with long term. I uh, have a couple more questions for you. And go back here. Period. Um, one, I would like to private label these with my brand logo. What is the cost to private label 500 units? What packaging options do you have or offer? Can you send me photos of packaging standard and or whatever? She'll send me what she has. Um, shipping. I need to know an estimated price for shipping to Amazon in Canada. The address is Vancouver, BC. B I usually just give them mine, so we'll go. We'll go Burnaby, BC, B5, H1S8. Is the postal code? Let me just go postal code. Code. Just get me an estimate. Um, what else do I need to know? If I placed an order this week, 
and I wanted the units private labeled, what would be the estimated factory production time? I mean, these are all the same questions on my template. I just customize it to her. Anything else I'm looking. So when they RFQ you back, they give you specs on the side. Uh, six inch stainless steel digital uh, vernier caliper with extra large LCD screen, $10 a unit. Um, dear Chris, please find a product below. We have shipped to Japan, US market if you need samples. I don't need a sample. I just need to know they work. Here's some photos. Really dirty. Thanks for the dirty photos. It's really dirty. I don't even know if that's how it's supposed to be. Close that one. I don't want to download. I just want to see it. Why is it not showing? Don't know. It's, oh, oh, okay. That's they're measuring some sort of device. I've seen these before. Okay. So right down to the digital metrics. So that's an everyday tool. Oh yeah, the color. What color options do I have? The one that sells well online is a really unique black and yellow kind of color. What color options do you have? What custom color? Custom color. What? I don't want the custom. I want to know what they're... What? is the what color options do you have what color options do you have the one picture is that your basic color if I wanted um, to customize custom how much would it cost they'll probably ask me what colors I want um, what else do I need to know? Usually I'll go to, uh, now this is a template I'll create once, I'll copy it, I'll save it. And then when people come back at me, um, quote me on those Vanier calipers, I'll use my same template on them. So I create it once, I create it really well, and then I'll duplicate it out there. Um, and I save it onto my files because Copying off of off of Alibaba and repasting it makes it look like shit. Amazon.ca. We want to quickly look at bad reviews. So we'll go Vanier Per. There we go. This is the nice one that was um, twenty six seventy. So this guy's selling for twenty six. So the prices have come down since I last. Not as high as I thought. But I still like the twenty-six dollar price. <clears throat> okay, so one hundred and fifty-five reviews, really good reviews for the most part. He's got one. He's got a couple bad ones. So high-quality electronic digital caliper lasted just over a month before the sensor started cycling errant readings while adjusting the slider. After zeroing it and pulling the slider marker measurement, I got negative numbers, random, larger. Uh, so we'll ask about warranty. What warranty will? What warranty did they offer? What? What warranty will you give me um, if I have returns? What do you require in order to reimburse or replace me with? Um, replace if I have returns of broken hers what do you require in order to reimburse or replace my units do you simply effective ones I have or do you need more than Really about warranty. When it comes down to warranty on Amazon, you're going to get repair, rep, you're going to get refunds, um, returns, Josh. Amazon's, Amazon's going to ask you if you want them back. Uh, it, it just becomes a matter of, um, do you want them back or do you want Amazon to toss them in the garbage? 
I used to get them back. I accumulated a bunch here. I don't really do anything with like my stock of all my returns other than just like test them to see what went wrong. A lot of the times for my products, the one or two out of 10 were bad, but the customers who bought them don't are fucking idiots and don't know how to fucking use this shit properly and think the machine's defective. Um, so, and Amazon has a 30 day, no questions asked money back guarantee. So you end up taking these returns, not enough to scare me away by far. My sales outweigh my returns, um, but I get them back. You can sell them on eBay, recoup your costs, sell them, blow them out for nothing on eBay. Uh, there's options like that. Um, factory, my factories that I deal with, for example, for my callers, I just tell them, hey, heads up on my next order. Just so you know, I had 50 defective units. What's going on? I can't have this happen. Or, you know, if it's a problem and I did have a problem, so I had to get them to fix that. Uh, or if I had like 20 defective or return units in a period before I had to order more, I'll tell him heads up. I had 25 units that were defective. He'll go, no problem. I'll send you 25 with your next order. So it all works out at the end of the day. You're going to always have return returns. Don't stress on it. Just count the ducats. Okay. So uh, any more questions I have, go back to the listing. Very inaccurate. What is the accuracy? Um, well, let's ask him some product. About the product. What is the accuracy of this uh, Vanier per? Uh, can you send me uh, any test? I don't know. Um, also, can you send me a PD, PD version of the owner's man slash instruction book that comes with the caliper to read it? Um, make an informed decision when you're buying stuff. Okay, let's see here. Uh, French, French. Um, never seen a product with so many fake reviews. <laughs> of course, that's a competitor. So competitors will write shit like that. Doesn't even see. So verify purchase. This person actually purchased it. This person is not verified. This is just a competitor saying to this guy. Because in the beginning, when you launch a product, you want to get a blast of reviews. You want to get at least five reviews from your friends from your brothers from people you know that will jump on there stagger it not all in one day but some people will get like fucking 10 reviews in one day and then they'll uh their competitors will be like motherfucker and they'll come on there and leave a bullshit review like that just uh it's stupid stuff but you get hate reviews so this guy kind of fucks his his ranking up by giving him one star hate review you can report him to amazon and um but really there's no recourse because it's also not you're not allowed to solicit reviews so by going and getting buddies to review your products you got to be very um calculated on how you do that i'll explain that later okay so other than that i mean i'm looking at it everything looks good let me just go back to the product here quickly read specs over again Hardened stainless steel, high quality, range of accuracy, precision fit, whatever. Whatever. I'll look over here quickly, see if there's anything else that stands out. Quick look at bearing measurement, whatever. I'm good with that. So thanks for um, your time. I appreciate it and I look forward to your to working with you and then it's signed off respect CEO aim living and that's it I'll copy this that becomes my template um, usually where I throw it is I throw it up in my um, Google Docs for my word Docs 
create one here, fit here, and there it is. And then I'll usually go um, template van vanier uh, caliper template. So that's just me responding to something I'm interested in, Josh. Uh, again, I've been searching for a few products. This one I'm interested in. And so we'll see where this goes. The $10 price point, if all I'm going to get is uh, max 30 bucks on this, $10 might be too much for me because Amazon's going to take a cut. That might turn into a $5 profit. So I might not be super interested in this at the end of the day. Um, like some of these ones are really cheap. Like sixteen fifty nine is crazy cheap. Thirty dollars wouldn't be bad, uh, but still ten dollars is pretty high. So I'll negotiate with that factory for sure. Uh, ultimately, I'm going to respond to the other factory with this exact same template. So we'll send this one. That's gone. Then we'll hit up Alan Lou. Actually, we'll go back to Carmen. So we'll go back to here. This is my list of factories I've been dealing with. There's Jinin. Okay, so we're wait back for this information, and then the other one that we're about to to hit up is this one right here. This person is quoting me eleven sixty one, and we'll change the name on here to Alan Lou, and everything else is the same. And he quoted me eleven sixty one and we'll negotiate on that afterwards after i respond about once so that guy's a one-year guy this person's a 10-year person <clears throat> and that's it so i've hit up two people in the span of 18 minutes and talking to you and creating that template uh and i could literally hit up a lot more in a span i could hit 20 people i could hit a person a minute with that template of all the questions i need to know over the product um what else then I'll take Mr. Allen from Speedy Tools. So Speedy Tools, uh, Allen, one year, March 4th, 2018. I'll go 14 Mar, and then we'll go. His said 100 units, and he quoted a buck 1140. So he's way overpriced. In our market, the prices are really low on those. I didn't think they were that low. I don't know what gave me the idea that they were 35 to 50. Let me just take a look at the Jungle Scout on it. 29. We got this guy here at 64. Extra large LED, 6 inch. That could be the one that I'm interested in. It's got the similar design, extra large LED. So it could be similar to the one I'm interested in. Um, what did we get for that? Jacked his price up. This guy's 71 selling. So, okay, so there is. So the average price point is $38, which I'm happy with. I'm happy with that. Demand's come down a little bit on these, but there's still some good sellers. There's still about, what do we got? 500, 750, 850, 950, 1050, 1150, 1250, 1350. 14, 1500. We have about 1500 sales in page one. So that's a base hit. I'd buy 100 uh, units. I quote, you know, I'm quoting these guys, telling them, them to get me quotes for, you know, 500. But ultimately, um, that's just a negotiation tactic um, to get the price down. Then I'm going to tell them to test the market with 100 uh, or 200. And then I'll buy 200. And I'll put them in Amazon, and that will give me another pillar of a private little product. And if that one takes off, if I can work the listing and create the listing and make it one of the best listings and my sales start to trickle up, then I'll buy more. Um, and I'll tell my factory that. I will look. How I work is I want to make sure that this listing sticks, that the product sticks, that it's not a, there's no lemon points with it. I'm not going to give you guys, you know, $5,000 or whatever. $10,000 Canadian for it until I know that it's worthwhile. So give me your best price. If you're going to raise the price back up to $10, I'm not going to buy from you. I'm going to buy from your competitor. And I usually tell that. But if you can give me a great price on my initial order and it works out, I, I'm loyal. I will buy from you. I will buy more from you. All right, Josh, I um, hope you're trying to get these products sorted out, buddy. 
because um, remember it takes 30 days up to 20 to 30 days for the factory to produce it and then another week for there from there for it to get into your Amazon so we're March now the earliest you you'll be able to go is April 10th uh, and then we need to get your like while that while your products on in factory will have your listing built but it won't go live until your products arrive won't go live until your products arrive once it goes live then it's it could be a matter of days that we can get traction or may take a couple weeks to get traction so keep that in mind right um, other than that don't sit on one product try to get multiple products I know you have four in mind it's a try to get multiple products you may want to get one to feel what it's like and how you have how you'll succeed but ultimately try to get four products all right buddy I gotta go and coach my kids at basketball um, I will haven't started the video on teaching you how to create a listing uh, yet but I want to do a good job for you and I want to keep it clear and concise uh, for you so but that will be done today and you'll have that uh, in your lap today uh, other than that, I'll see you. I'll talk to you later. Respect.